Hello everyone, welcome to TNN. I'm Michael Boski. And I'm Gushai Castillo. Alright, general announcements for this week. Patterson High will be co-hosting a College Awareness Night on February 28th, which is tonight from 6pm to 8.15pm. There will be approximately 30 colleges, trade schools, and others present to talk with students. This will be a fun time. Come on out. This is an excellent opportunity for you and your parents to meet with college representatives. We look forward to seeing you there tonight. As a part of College Awareness Night, we have asked a few teachers, actually, about their college experiences. And we'll be showing them for these next coming weeks. Let's go ahead and watch. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the College Corner with... Haley, um, I am here with Miss Blickenstaff. Um, Hi. I'm going to be asking you a few questions. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> where did you go to for college? I actually went to a few different colleges. I started off. Um, I graduated early from high school, and I traveled abroad in Israel, and I got college credits for doing that program. And then I went to San Francisco State, and then I went back to Israel to go to school for another year. And then I ended up at um, UNLV in Las Vegas and got my degree there. Dang, that's a lot of places. It is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what did you intentionally think college was going to be like? You know, I, had, I have an older sister who went to San Francisco State also, so I kind of likened it to her experience. She had a lot of friends and hung out in the dorms and on campus a lot of the time and did a lot of, a lot of fun stuff, and so I kind of just assumed that my experience would be like hers. And it totally wasn't at all. <laughs> well, everybody's experience is That's different. That's right, everybody, yes, um, exactly. How would you describe um, your college experience? Transient, because <laughs> I was all over the place. Oh. So it was, I wouldn't necessarily, I don't think, change anything, um, because I really enjoyed all of the places that I was. Um, but I don't think I had the traditional college experience either because of it, so, um, but yeah, you know, you live and you learn from every experience you have. Sure, sure. Um, what, what would you say one of your best college memories are? Um, one of the benefits of living in different cities is that, and, and the cities that I did live in were just amazing cities to go and explore, and I think my best memories are of me and my friends going and exploring the different cities that we were living in at the time. That sounds fun. Yeah, I can't wait. Fun. I can't wait to go to college. Yeah, yeah. you're going to be awesome. Um, okay, so is there anything else you'd like to add? I think just like it's important to do what is going to be right for you and you know whether that's college or vocational school or apprenticeship or whatever and just try and make the best out of the experience because that's time that you'll, you'll certainly never get back and just really try and get something from every moment and have a good time and learn something too. That's cool. what's important. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, thank you, Ms. Blick and You're staff. Welcome, um, and have a, have a lovely day. You have yeah, a lovely bye. day. Okay, you, yeah. <laughs> 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 Fantastic, what a great showing. All right, next announcement. Just a reminder that next Cyber High is Saturday, March 4th. Prepare to take tests that morning. Be ready. I uh, lost my spot. Here we go. Attention all PHS students. Do you think you have talent? If so, come out and sign up for the annual talent show, which should have been done in the beginning of the semester, but you know some things happen. There will be a table at both lunches from February 27th until March 10th. Those students who sign up will be given an audition date. Do not miss this opportunity to show off your special talents and be sure to sign up by March 10th. Whew, that was an awful. The next blood drive is right around the corner and sign-ups have started. There has been a Google form shared to your email. Make sure to sign up. And that if you're 16 years old, make sure to pick up a, per a parent permission slip in the TLC or ASB window and turn them into the TLC ASAP as soon as possible. The last day to turn in the parent permission slip is March 8th. If you are 16 or older, okay, well, if you are 17 or older, you do not need a parent permission slip. Come out and save a life. And now a quick word from our FFA about how FFA week went last week. So, what are you guys doing here? Serving hot dogs. Hey, what's up? Hot dogs! And chips and stuff. Yeah, thanks for the hot dog, guys. I didn't get a hot dog, so you guys are not going to thank you for me. <laughs> All right, well... Here's your class announcement. Seniors, your Magic Mountain grad night trip is scheduled for May 18th to May 19th of this year. There's only 25 spots left. 
and they're filling fast. The cost of the trip is $180, and the last payment is due by March 3rd. That's on Friday. Please make sure you pay everything by this date to save your spot. If you have questions, please go talk to Ms. Lozano in the TLC during your lunch. Senior is the priority deadline for filing the FAFSA or DREAM Act financial aid application is March 2nd. Paula's this birthday. That's her birthday? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, happy early birthday. March 2nd you is this... happy birthday to my girlfriend. Yeah. I'm just kidding. It doesn't mean anything. I'm sorry. Oh. All right. FAFSA or DREAM Act financial aid due by March 2nd, which is this Thursday. Time's running out, but help is still available for you and your parents. Mr. Leonard is available after school, and there will also be workshops in room 202 from 5 to 7, also on 30, also on March 2nd, I mean. <laughs> Once again, I messed that up. It's from 5 to 7 p.m. Thursday, March 2nd for the workshop. Juniors, the next ACT test is April 8th. The deadline to register for the ACT without paying a late fee uh, is March 3rd. After that date, there's an additional $27.50 late fee. Fee waivers are available from Mr. Leonard in the library during lunch periods and after school for those who qualify. $27.50. Just to clarify. Yeah, not, not $2,750. It's $27.50. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Actually, do worry about it. Late fees are no joke. <laughs> Juniors, a representative from CSU East Bay will be on campus during six period on March 21st to give a presentation on the university and the applications process. Those juniors who are interested and need to sign up on the clipboard in the counseling office and complete the in-lieu slip. Seniors, a representative from Stanislaus State Financial Aid Office will be giving a presentation on student loans on March 13th. The presentation will be in the cafeteria from 6 to 7 p.m. Please bring your parents to hear this important information regarding student loans. And now, here's the weather. Um, hi, so this week's weather is going to be sunny and cloudy with the highest high being at 69 on Monday and the lowest being 66 on Saturday and Sunday. So wear jackets or long sleeves. Uh... <laughs> hello everyone, I'm here with Noah Morales. Say hello Noah. Hi. Noah Morales accomplished something that hasn't been done since 1997. He qualified for the CIF State Tournament for Wrestling this Friday and Saturday. Congratulations. Thank you. Since 1997, that's 20 whole years since Patterson has had a state qualifier. And to make it even better, he's only a sophomore. He still has two more years after this, which is absolutely crazy. <laughs> Tell us about your final two matches before you qualified for state. Well, my final match to get into state, it went to overtime, and it was honestly the best feeling in the world. It was, it, you can't beat that. That's fantastic. I remember when I had dreams about going to state, but then I hit my head <laughs> against the wall. It's good times. But uh, Noah Morales here, he really deserved this. I have never met a more hardworking kid in my life. This kid lived on the map basically all last year after the season was over. So I expected it. He got no love in the rankings, that's for sure, but... Still didn't fold. What a man. Ladies, this is the kind of man you want to date. You don't want to date a guy like me. You don't want to date a guy like Ushuaia. Okay, maybe Ushuaia. Most definitely not a guy like Nico. You want to date a man like Noah Morales. He has the grades, the athletic ability. Look at, just look at this man. He's a state qualifier. You know what? He has fifth lunch. He'll be at a table to host auditions if you want to go on a date with him. Very picky, though, so make sure to bring your resume. <laughs> Tell us about your season, Noah. Well, How'd overall, you do in league? At leagues, I ended up taking first. Subsections. I took first. <laughs> My gosh. And the team overall, we had sent five kids to Masters. Mm -hmm. We haven't done that in a couple Yeah, of that was a really big accomplishment. Next year, hopefully, we'll have two more state qualifiers, maybe more. It'd be good. Yeah. Team's young team. Very good. All right. Thank you, Noah. Thank you. All right. Uh, why don't you tell us what we have going on this week for sports? All right. Busy week. Uh, spring sports started up already, so we're talking about that. And we we'll also have some uh, recognition that we got to get going as well. Um, we talked about the wrestlers uh, that went to uh, the Masters meet um, and, and qualified there. We had, in the first time in 20 years, a state qualifier wrestler. Noah Morales uh, will be representing Patterson High School in the 126 weight class uh, this Friday down in Bakersfield at Rabble Bank Arena. 
uh, representing Patterson High School for the first time in 20 years, uh, state meet qualifier. So good luck to Noah. If you see him on campus, wish him luck and congratulations. And any of the other wrestlers that, that you see walking around campus, make sure you congratulate those guys as well because we had a great year uh, in the postseason with wrestling. Also, girls basketball, varsity girls basketball, you got to make sure you guys give them some, some props as well. Uh, with their two wins last week on Tuesday and Thursday, they now travel uh, tonight. They will be traveling to Galt High School. And uh, I'll just talk about them right now before we get into the actual schedule of what's going on. They're going to be traveling to Galt High School to take on Placer. With a couple upsets that happened in the bracket, they're actually the highest seed that is remaining. It's up for grabs. Anybody's, anybody's um, taking for the championship for D3. So they're taking on Placer. Um, if they win, they will take on the winner of Christian Brothers and Kimball. And that game is at 7.30. Our girls are playing at 6 o'clock at Galt High School. And that game for the championship will be at UOP at 2 o'clock on Saturday. Now, by the wins last week on Tuesday and Thursday, regardless of what happens on tonight for their game, they will be in the NorCal Regional Tournament. And not knowing exactly what division, not knowing who they're going to be playing yet until Sunday, but they will be playing on Wednesday, March 8th. And we could very well be hosting a NorCal regional first round games. And that will be on Wednesday, March 8th. So we may travel. We may travel all around Northern California, but we also may host uh, in that tournament as well. So be prepared to find out that information as we uh, find out firsthand on Sunday for that. So getting to it, uh, yesterday softball opened up their season at home against Atwater. Hopefully you guys were able to come out there and, and, and take advantage of the good weather and catch out our softball uh, program. And then girls soccer, they had their uh, awards night in the auditorium. And um, moving forward to today, boys tennis, are, they are at Pacheco starting our league play. Uh, the first match is at 3 o'clock at Pacheco High School in Los Banos. We talked about varsity girls basketball traveling to Galt already. Softball, you are traveling to Orostimba to take on the Warriors. Game is at 3.30 in Newman. And then boys volleyball, you guys are traveling to Western Ranch up in Stockton uh, for a matchup at 5 o'clock. That is our boys volleyball program uh, for Tuesday. Wednesday, we have baseball at home again. Hopefully you were able to make it out there on Friday and see them beat LeGrand. Now you get to see them match up against Orostimba at home. Uh, 3.30 first pitch on Wednesday. And then also that night at 6 o'clock is the boys soccer awards night. Boys soccer awards night in the auditorium at 6 o'clock on Wednesday. Thursday, we have boys tennis again at, uh, at home this time. So you get to check out our boys tennis program at home against Ceres. There's, again, another league matchup. First uh, matches will start at 3 o'clock. So right after school, get out to the tennis courts and support your boys tennis. And then boys volleyball, they will also be hosting a JV and varsity matchup with Buhot Colony on Thursday night. JV's at 5. Varsity will be about 6 o'clock. Uh, make sure you get out there and, and support those guys. Friday, we talked about Noah going down and representing Patterson High School at the state meet. He's going to be gone all day in Bakersfield. Varsity softball is going to be traveling to Mountain House, uh, Mountain House High School, and their matchup is at first pitch is at 3.30 at Mountain House. And baseball will be at home again on a Friday, so some Friday afternoon baseball here at Patterson High versus Escalon. So that's a classic matchup there. First pitch is at 3.30. Saturday, we talked about the uh, Noah representing us in that tournament in state, and the and the girls varsity basketball moving on hopefully to that matchup in the finals at UOP at two o'clock in the D3 finals. So root for the girls uh, and support them. And if you can get up there to to Galt and and give them a big rooting section on on tonight, that would be great as well. Wrapping around to Monday, we want to make sure we talk about Monday. Monday is another home baseball game against Downey High School. First pitch is at three o'clock, or I'm sorry, at three thirty, and uh, that pretty much wraps up all of our sports for this week and those recognition. Again, uh, a great winter for, for us as we start getting into our awards nights. Um, look for the Twitter page to, for the update on when our awards nights for the rest of the, the uh, sports are as well. All right, well, thank you. Jesus Christ, okay.